Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, I'm just going to talk to you and I'd like to get you to get yourself comfortable sitting in a comfortable supportive chair or lying down on your bed. There's not really much to do. All I'm going to ask you to imagine something because we're going to focus on your brain. We we'll focus on your brain. Because let's face it, the brain controls everything within us. And sometimes we talk about our mind and, you know, maybe struggling to get to sleep because the mind is overactive. But of course, those thoughts, that activity comes from the brain. We talk about stress in our bodies. That comes from the brain, those feelings. Any physical sensations that we experience come from the brain. It's not that the brain sounds like the brain's got it in for us, but it, does, it doesn't. Our brain doesn't, it's not out to get us or to cause us problems or suffering. Our brain is here to serve us, to do whatever it can to help. And you think about all the amazing things the brain controls, like our breathing, our body temperature, the blood flow, the heart beating, all the different organs working, all controlled by the brain almost on automatic, yet controlled by the brain. And we don't have to do anything at all ourselves. We don't have to monitor it. We don't have to uh, keep a track or ask our brain to, you know, keep the blood pumping because it's going to happen anyway. What we can do, though, is... Maybe focus on the brain itself for relaxation. So instead of focusing on our bodies or focusing on our muscles, focusing on physical sensations or focusing on our minds and how we're thinking and feeling emotionally, perhaps we could go direct to the source direct to the brain itself. So with your eyes closed, what I'm going to ask you to do is just imagine you've got a big white bowl, see-through glass in front of you on a counter, you know, maybe kitchen. And what you're going to do is you're actually going to take your brain out of your head. Of course, you're not really going to take your brain out of your head. It's still going to be there. But you're going to imagine doing this, doing this activity of removing your brain, putting it into the bowl which has water in it, gently, softly, carefully. And the one part of our body or our, you know, being that we generally can't touch is the brain. We can relax, we can have massages, we can even, you know, massage the body so that the internal organs are also, 
you know, gently perhaps being massaged. We can't do anything. We can't massage the brain because it's inside of a very hard skull. So what we can do here is actually take the opportunity to massage the brain, your brain. Remembering, of course, that there's no nerve endings in the brain. Ironic, considering physical pain comes from the brain, but the brain has no nerve endings, so you can't hurt it. Doesn't You can't feel, but what you can feel, you can't feel pain, but you can feel pleasure. You can feel the release of tension. You can feel the experience of being held. You can feel the sensations of getting in touch with your brain. The most important part of your body. Because as we all know, even without the brain, different parts of the body can be kept going you know, on machines and stuff, but the brain can't. Once the brain is gone, that's it. So it is the most valuable jewel that you or I will ever possess, more important than any amount of money. Your brain is priceless and deserves a bit of rest, a bit of TLC, a bit of loving, a bit of kindness directed towards your brain. Maybe some gratitude and appreciation would be useful as you really get in touch with the importance of your brain for everything that you do in your life. Whether you're awake or asleep, your brain provides you with everything. Even if you're watching a movie, without your brain working, that movie would mean nothing. The brain allows you to see, to hear, to taste, to touch, to have those sensations. The brain allows you to breathe. It allows you everything gives you everything and never once complains never once asks for anything in return in fact the brain really is a hero that's the best word well, maybe not the best word, but it's a word. Your brain is the biggest hero you will ever know. Yeah, we don't really get to know our brains. We focus on our bodies, we focus on our minds, perhaps. But the brain gives you everything. Because as is shown with brain injuries, people's personality often change dramatically. So the idea that our personality and our minds are separate from our brain clearly is untrue. The 
the idea that our legs and our limbs and our fingers and our, you know, toes and the body, skin, hairs, all that stuff, the idea that that is separate from your brain, it's untrue. Everything is connected to your brain. So we need maybe to take some time to give thanks and to show appreciation to our brain. And maybe to start having a bit more trust because it's done such a brilliant job throughout your life, keeping you alive. Of course, sometimes things go wrong. Sometimes there's problems with the brain. But even when that happens, when part of the brain gets damaged, another part of the brain does everything it can to take over those responsibilities, which is amazing brain really is as amazing as the universe and we still know very little about the brain we're getting to know more but very tiny amount compared to what there is to learn so because maybe in our lifetimes we won't we won't know huge amounts about the brain but we can still appreciate and realize the importance and the simple fact that the brain gives you everything And the brain may not give you that burger that you just bought at the fast food place. But without your brain, you couldn't enjoy that burger. You wouldn't be able to digest that burger. You wouldn't have been able to order that burger. You wouldn't be able to taste it. You wouldn't be able to do anything without your brain. It gives you and does everything everything for you without wanting anything in return so maybe some of these stresses and tensions and anxieties and maybe even physical pain that we sometimes experience maybe some of that can start to just rip away when you look at your brain in this bowl and you can start to just massage it gently because having your brain massaged is a thousand times more pleasurable and deeper, more relaxing than any kind of physical relaxation that you may experience. Because when you massage your brain, you're massaging your entire life. You're massaging your heart, your lungs, your feet, your skin, your very biology is being massaged, your DNA massaged by massaging your brain. The very act of imagining gently with your hands and your fingers, gently massaging your brain. Allow 
now in stress that maybe has been stuck in your brain for a long time, maybe years, maybe decades, to be released. Unwanted memories, unneeded emotions, or feelings connected to things that are no longer relevant in your life. It's almost like while you are massaging your brain in that clear water, the bits of dirt start to come off. And you notice the water starting to get a bit dirty. And that dirt really is just old, unnecessary stress and tension. that doesn't need to be there anymore but maybe we didn't realize was there until this very moment and perhaps we've been trying to get rid of that stress and find ways to relax deeply and fall asleep easily and feel happier in our lives when actually problem was always in the brain and now as the brain is massaged and that dirt is released those negative emotions and feelings blockages even are now starting to unblock so that every part of your brain can flow and connect easier than it has done for many many years and you can turn your brain over in that bowl and just move it around a little bit and maybe pick it up and see the dirt dripping off the dirty water dripping into the bowl and next to you can see another bowl but this one is with clear water again so you can just put your brain into that bowl and notice how that water stays clear because it's clean and all that dirt from those past stresses anxieties and problems that maybe you didn't realize were clinging on have now been released they've been released and your brain can just enjoy soaking in that clean water and again you can gently massage your brain and you can experience that sense of I don't even know if there's a word for it a feeling that you get it's more than relaxation it's more it's deeper it's wider it's higher it's larger it's all encompassing a sense of calmness that is unbreakable. It feels so nice to gently massage your brain. Now what we're going to do is put it into another bowl. This time the bowl's empty. It's a big, clear bowl. So just be very careful as you just put it gently into that bowl. And now we're going to pour a big jug of healing liquid all over your brain. The colour of my liquid is going to be yellow. You may choose blue, whatever colour you want. 
which represents healing energy. It's going to heal not just your brain, but your entire body. And it's going to remove all signs of negativity from your brain. And as you continue to pour that healing liquid, you can feel how good it feels. As the bowl fills up and covers your entire brain, you can feel your brain soaking in that healing energy. Soaking in that healing energy deep into your brain. It's almost like your brain is becoming that healing energy. Now what we're going to do is all these little little bowls of different coloured powder They've all got, they've all different powers, different reasons, different meanings. And you're going to take a pinch out of the first little bowl. This is going to be confidence. And you can just sprinkle it over the top of that healing liquid that's covering your brain and you can watch as it just absorbs that confidence soaking it deep into your brain there's another little bowl and this one is sleeping easy Basically giving you the natural ability that you're born with to just drift to sleep whenever you choose. You can take a big pinch of this and just crumble that again on top of that healing liquid which is covering your brain. And watch that be absorbed by that healing liquid and melted into your brain. And the next one is going to be a bowl which has self-love. You can take a sprinkle of this, a pinch of this and just spread that on top of that healing liquid. Self-love. And watch that be absorbed into that healing liquid and soak it into your brain deep, deep inside. And now we're going to get something which is, it's kind of like a, a resistance. It's a special concoction of different emotions and different feelings but what this gives you is resistance to stress which means that you'll only be able to experience a mild amount of stress before it's just automatically released almost like an overflow in a bathroom or a bath So this stress resistance, if you want, you can just take a handful of it and just drop it into the healing liquid that's covering your brain and just see it moving around and sizzling and then soaking deep into the brain, into your brain.
now we're going to look. And there's a, another bowl which has got pain relief. So this liquid, this uh, powder, is basically there to help with things. If there's a, a condition that some, maybe you have, chronic pain issue, you don't need to feel it. You know it's there, you know to be careful with that body part. Well, this will now make sure that you feel relaxed, calm. and loose in that body part. You can just take a handful of that, sprinkle that on top of that healing liquid and watch that dissolve and soak into your brain. And what you can do now with the last little bowl, that can be a bowl of something that you choose. Any positive emotion or feeling or need that you wish to have. Maybe a personality trait that you wish to have more of. And you can just take a sprinkle of that or a handful of it, whatever it may be to you. And you can just trust what's needed to happen. You can trust yourself for what's required to just be sprinkled on top of that liquid, healing liquid and soaking deep into your brain to give you what you need more of. And lastly, As you watch, that healing liquid is going to soak deep into the brain, leaving the brain in an empty bowl. All well, that liquid is just going to soak and be absorbed by your brain. As I count down from five to one, five, four, Three, two, one. And now, as you put your hands into that bowl, your brain will disappear from the bowl and return inside your skull. Turn to your head where it belongs. And you can just notice how you feel. Notice how good you feel. How relaxed you feel right now. And that brings us to the end of this recording. And you can enjoy this feeling of, of deep, deep comfort. Deep, deep relaxation and deep, deep healing. Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Lots of love. Bye.